Hey guys, welcome back to Heavy Metal Horizons. So this video is about these wireless microphones uh, that connect via Bluetooth and you can plug them right into like a handheld ham radio or an HT. Now to start off with, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody sent me this, anything like that. I just bought one of these for myself and I love it so much and it has made uh, being on the air much, much easier for me. I really wanted to make a video about it, really recommending it. Also, these are super affordable, which is kind of rare for ham radio sometimes. Okay, now there are, you know, I'm not the first one to talk about these. There are other videos out there talking about these, but most of those videos are sort of like technical reviews. They talk about how these work and so forth, and I'm going to tell you about how it works and what it does, but I'm also going to tell you about why you want this and the benefits of having it. So we'll get right into this, but of course, guys, if you enjoy videos like this, here at Heavy Metal Horizons, we do aviation, cars, and ham radio. If you like that stuff and you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, so let's check this out. Now, brand-wise, this is an Abri, although it's sold under several different names, but the, the title on a listing when you go and buy this is going to be something like uh, wireless mic, you know, wireless Bluetooth, ham radio mic, push to talk, something like that. And I'll have links like usual down in the video description below. And what's really cool is these cost around $35 to $40. And what you get is the hand mic itself, this one, and then this connector here, which plugs into the radio itself. I'll give you close-ups of this stuff, but it's using the standard Kenwood two-pin connection. These both have USB-C charging ports on them, and all you do is you plug it into your radio, as long as it has that, that uh, Kenwood two-pin connection, which a lot of radios have. Turn this on. Turn this on. Power on. Pairing. Connected. Okay, and it connects like that. Now on here, uh, on the hand mic itself, Again, I'll give you close-ups of this stuff, but you've got your push-to-talk switch over here, okay? Then you've got the power button, you've got a P1 function button, uh, and then you've got a plus and a minus. Now, uh, obviously, the power switch turns it off and on. Plus and minus turns up or down the volume on the hand mic, and that is independent from the volume on the radio. So what I like to do is turn up the radio kind of loud, and then I can bring the volume down on the hand mic uh, for whatever I need it. That way, if I need it to be louder, I can just turn it up from here and I don't have to mess around with the radio. Now, uh, like I mentioned before, there's a USB-C charging port on the bottom. The other thing, which I absolutely love and is a key feature of this, is right on the side, you have a headphone jack. Now, I want to uh, do a slight little disclaimer here. It's not actually a headphone jack. It's like the speaker jack uh, on the back of, you know, a mobile radio or something like that. So it's a mono output. So the way I like to use this thing is I hook this up and then I have headphones and I plug with an aux, you know, auxiliary cable, a 3.5 millimeter cable from my headphones into here. The issue with that is that if you have it plugged in all the way, and if you're using like a stereo cable, which most aux cables are, you're only going to get sound on one side of the headphones, unless you have like a mono stereo switch on the headphones, which not, you know, not many headphones do. So what I do is um, either you can use a mono cable, or you can kind of cheat, you know, you can kind of pull the cable out a little bit, and then it kind of acts as a splitter and actually it'll send the signals to both sides. Okay, now just to show you that this functions, let me turn on the radio here. With the radio on, and I'm going to turn up the volume here on this, and we've got this unit turned on and we've got the microphone paired. Now, when I hit the push to talk over here, hopefully you can see this. Okay, now we're transmitting KN6 VNE. And I'm on a uh, one of the local repeaters here, so you can you can hear the tail on the repeater. And this, by the way, is a Quanching uh, K6 radio here. We can also go over to 
Let's see, I'm on the Van Nuys Tower. Let's see if you can pick up the ATIS from here. Let's see if we can pick up something on the tower frequency. So that's with the sound coming through the the uh, hand mic and speaker here, and your push to talk works and all that stuff. But like I was saying, okay, so that's uh, an airplane talking to the Van Nuys control tower over here. Let me turn the volume down. Okay, so the other way I like to use it, and you know, this is really like a key thing for me. As I plug in my cable, my aux cable, into the, uh, the side port here, the headphone jack, speaker jack, and I plug in the other side to the headphones. So I've got my headphones on. These are noise canceling if I want. And you've got the clip on the back here. So you can clip this down here on your belt or on your shirt or whatever you want. Now I can transmit. Uh, let's see here. Now I can transmit through the hand mic and I can be hearing everything through the headphones. KN6, VNE, Kilo November 6, Victor November Echo monitoring. And that's how I like to use it. Now I can be doing stuff around the house, whatever, and I can have my headphones on or, or not, you know, if, if there's nobody else around and I want to have the radio blasting, I'll just carry it around like this, have it clipped to my, clipped to my belt or my uh, pants pocket or something like that. And then I'm set, and I can just leave the radio somewhere else uh, in a good position for the antenna or like hooked up to power or something like that. And I don't have to worry about carrying this around with me all the time. Okay, now the other thing that I should mention here is this one has the hookup. I'll shut this off. This one has the hookup for the Kenwood 2 pin, but there is another version of it which has the same kind of receiver transmitter unit but instead of the Kenwood 2 pin it has like the RJ style you know almost like a phone cord style connection and that plugs into a lot of the mobile radios like as an example I've got a TYT mobile radio uh, it's like a nice like a 50 watt mobile radio which I'm actually kind of using as a base station radio for my VHF stuff that's got that RJ connection on there so I could do the, you can do the same thing if you just order the different version of that uh, wireless mic with the different connection. Now, I know some of you are probably saying, well, hey, you know, you can, you know, it's an HT, it's a handy talkie, right? It's a handheld radio. The whole idea is to carry this around with you, right? So why don't you just carry this around? Well, to me, the deal breaker is really the antenna, but also I, I like to use you know, the HT radios, because these modern radios work so well, especially this one, because this has like the, uh, the different firmware on it so I can receive a lot of other stuff. I like to use these radios almost as a base station radio. I don't want to carry it around with me. I will have this hooked up uh, to my big antenna, which is, you know, outside, and through a power amplifier, you know, just this little tiny radio hooked up to all that stuff. But when it's hooked up that way, then I'm tied, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm tied to it, right? I'm sitting down with it, especially if I'm using the amplifier. But now I can have that radio hooked up to the big antenna and all that, and then just carry this around with me and use it through that. And it makes it so much easier. And to me, that is really, that is really why I recommend this for, for new hams, especially like technician level hams that are using a lot of the HTs and like VHF, you know, two meter stuff, that kind of thing. This, it breaks the connection where you don't have to be sitting down like in your radio shack or whatever. You don't have to be sitting there dedicated to the radio. You can be on the radio, but you can still be out uh, around the house or around the apartment or in the garage doing other things. So it allows you to multitask. And yeah, for $35, 35 to $40, I mean, this, this thing is such a help. It just really expands the times and places that you can get on the air because now you can be on the air and doing something else at the same time. For the price, this is just a no-brainer. It's super affordable and super easy to set up and use. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think? Is anybody out there have one of these? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoy the ham radio videos here on Heavy Metal Horizons. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.